the Kawasaki Brute Force 750. The premier do-it-all ATV, packed with can-do muscle, versatility, and just plain fun. Though designed to be easy to maintain by simply following the owner's manual's periodic maintenance table, symptoms such as stalling on acceleration and creeping at idle can be caused by improper throttle synchronization and or idle speed adjustment, things that are very easy to remedy. Let's start by making sure the engine has proper cylinder compression. Remove one of the wires from each of the two ignition coils and blow off the dirt from around each spark plug hole. Attach your compression tester and check the engine's cylinder compression. Remember to hold the throttle wide open. Check your result against the manual. If the compression is low, check the engine's valve clearances and adjust if necessary. Once that's done, take a close look at the physical throttle stop on the throttle body assembly. There should be firm contact with no clearance between the stop and the throttle bell crank. This is so that the throttle plates at rest are cracked open and not touching the inside of the throttle body housing. Resist the temptation to tinker with this adjustment. It is closely matched to other settings and could result in considerable time wasted. Likewise, avoid adjusting the mechanical throttle sink. Rarely, if ever, is this actually necessary. Do, however, take a moment to inspect the bell crank linkage for looseness and wear. Now, install your vacuum tool at the cylinder head fittings and start and warm up the engine to operating temperature. Here we are using KDS, or Kawasaki Diagnostic Software, which is showing us a warmed up engine's coolant temperature of 174 degrees Fahrenheit. Lacking KDS, you could also use a temperature gauge in the temporarily shut off engine's oil filler hole and look for a lower temperature. A fully warmed engine's idle should be the standard 1100 RPM plus or minus 50. If you don't have KDS, idle RPM may be read using an electronic tachometer such as this one. If the engine's idle is not to standard, it will need to be adjusted before proceeding with throttle synchronization. Adjust the idle RPM by turning each throttle body bleed screw inward to lower the RPM or outward to raise it. Start with a quarter turn at both front and rear cylinder throttle body screws to avoid disturbing the throttle sink. Wait a moment for the engine's idle to stabilize and again, check the idle RPM. Once the idle RPM is correct, synchronize the throttles by first noting the relative throttle sink readings on your vacuum tool. On this Brute Force 750, the rear cylinder is reading high. To lower it, we'll turn the rear cylinder's bleed screw outward slightly until its reading levels off with the front one. Check the idle RPM again, and if it has changed, turn both throttle bleed screws a quarter turn, and repeat at each throttle until the RPM is again at the standard 1100 RPM plus or minus 50. Be sure to test ride the vehicle after making these adjustments, and let the good times roll.